Hi everyone, today I want to share a card I made with a brand new stamp set called Beautiful Friendship. This stamp set debuted in the new annual catalog uh, this past June 2019 and I think it is a lovely stamp set as the name suggests and it has some really pretty uh, floral images and I think they're they're done really nicely. They're kind of brush stroke, really loose uh, floral images and they'll be really pretty on many cards. I like that it has a uh, birthday sentiment, but also congratulations and just some kind of basic hello, happy to know you sort of greetings. Really fun. And here's the card I came up with it. I'm going to be making a few cards with this stamp set in the coming weeks. I have to make a swap card with it, so I'm just playing around with it. And this is the first one. I was sitting in a doctor's office waiting for my son's appointment and they had a pot of hydrangeas and they were more blue. but. Um, I couldn't find quite the right blue that I wanted for it. So I went with Highland Heather, which is a new-ish color, and I really like it. It's really pretty, and Granny Apple Green. And I've got some old olive leaves for just another color. And so this is what I came up with. It does involve a little bit of fussy cutting, but it's actually quite easy because if you don't like how a flower is working, just cut it off. <laughs> Nobody will know. So I'm going to make this. It's really fast, and I'm going to hope to turn the card just a little bit and see if you can get some of that shimmer. What I did to kind of mimic the puffiness of a hydrangea plant is I added some sequins just to kind of give it some um, burst of light, but it also kind of looks like little petals kind of mixed in with the plant. So you can add as many or as few as you like. Um, you know, depending upon how many sequins you have on hand or you <laughs> or you want to add. I think I ordered like I added like maybe five or six. You can go crazy and add more. It's really pretty. In person you can really see the uh, shimmering. So anyway, let's make this card. It's really simple. I've got a card base in Highland Heather and a matte piece in Granny Apple Green. So this matte piece is just a quarter of an inch smaller. So it's four by um, five and a quarter. And then I've got another piece of cardstock here. You can use Whisper White or Shimmery White. I use Shimmery White just because I love that added just shine on the cardstock. It has just little flecks of shimmer in it, which is really hard to see on video, but it's quite lovely in person. And um, anyway, so I'm using Shimmery White. You can also do this on Whisper White. And you're just going to take Highland Heather ink. Oops. and your large floral stamp. Now this is kind of one of those stamps where you've got darks and lights already built into the stamp set based on how they cut the photopolymer. It's got little holes. So see how it's got dark areas and light areas? That's not because I did something weird with the stamp pad. I just stamped straight into the pad. I'm going to turn it slightly and down slightly. Um, and I'm going to get highs and lows just based on how this photopolymer stamp is cut out. It's got little more spaces and then denser areas so that you've got more or less ink. And it just really gives you nice lights and darks, nice plays on the values in your ink colors. All right, that's it. You also need one more. I already stamped one, so you didn't have to keep watching me stamp <laughs> on a scrap piece. Now, I also, just for some, when I was sitting at the doctor's office, I noticed that hydrangeas tend to have little, um, in the centers of the flowers, just a little bit of green or yellow. And so I'm gonna grab Granny Apple Green and do that. And you know what, it's just a little difference, but I really can see the difference when I did it. It really just makes these hydrangeas just look that much more, um, not real, but more accurate and just more pretty. Just gives them a little something interesting to look at them. So kind of look at this grouping, or this grouping, and that little dot of Granny Apple Green in the center of the flowers just really makes the flowers uh, pop out a little bit more. I think they look just beautiful, and you don't want to go full strength on this because you want just a light color, so I put a lot of water on my ink to kind of lighten it out. And then I just touched the centers randomly in many of the flowers just to give it just a little bit of green. and. You know, as this is kind of a loose image, a loose watercolor looking image, you don't have to be precise. You can just kind of dip your brush up and down and get those flower centers. If you think it's, oh, you got a little too much on one, grab a little paper towel. I went a little heavy here. Pick it up. Yeah. 
I just think that adds something. <laughs> Somebody said, one of my stampy friends, if there's a way to add another step, I'll find it. <laughs> but I think these little steps just really um, make a difference. So there, I just added a tiny bit of Granny Apple Green to the centers of my flowers. Now just to add a different color um, green to the card, I used Old Olive as my leaf green just so that it had a difference from the ribbon and the centers and it was kind of more accurate to the hydrangea although the hydrangea leaves tend to be really big but that's okay nobody's gonna criticize that right <laughs> I also cut out an extra one and then down here at the bottom I'm gonna stamp my greeting now on this one I did a very big congratulations and best wishes to you on this one, I'm going to switch it up. And this one says, so very happy to know you. Kind of an all occasions card you can send to someone who you haven't written to in a while. Do you like to do a mail a card Monday or just mail a card occasionally? We love to make them. We also have to remember to send them. <laughs> Now, I need to make a lot of swap cards, so just in case I'm using this one, I'm going to do kind of a faux bow. I don't normally do that because, you know, when you add up the cost of ribbon, it's not that much. And so normally I don't mind going all the way around a card, but just because I have to make so many, I want to save as much ribbon as possible. So I am going to cut it here instead of wrapping all the way around. Sometimes it actually makes things easier to tie, too. And then I like to use tear tape when sticking down ribbon just because it's stronger than snail. So I feel like I like to use it when I'm going to add that bulk to my layer. Okay, so I want to turn it over and make sure that I'm just above the so very happy for you. I don't want to cover that. And then, I've already got matting on here. I'm going to put a little bit in the center. I've already got some adhesive, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down onto my panel of Granny Apple Green. Now, I cut this out by hand. I don't mind cutting, like I said, and if you, this is such a loose um, flower that I don't even think you have to be super precise. As you can see, I just kind of wing around the edges really quickly. And if you don't want to cut out this one that's sticking out all by itself, can just cut it off right there. No one will know that flower existed. I'm going to give it a shot, but <laughs> you don't have to. And I'm going to speed up the video while I finish cutting this out so you don't have to watch me cut it, unless it's therapeutic for you. <laughs> I actually don't mind fussy cutting. Okay, here is my little cutout hydrangea. So now I'm going to pop this up on some dimensionals just to make my bush of hydrangeas look even bigger. As you can see, this is the back of a sample card I made before. <laughs> but they won't see that once I, ma once I stick it down. Okay, I'm just going to play around with it. Where do you think you want this to go? Oops, I forgot. I'm backing. Let's not forget our bow. That's more of a knot. And then I had cut out this extra little leaf just for some added something something. I'm going to put one there. And I have another one, so I might as well use it. Stick it down here. There. There is my bush. Now it really looks great when you add these sequins. Now the Gingham Gala um, adhesive back sequins come with, they call this one balmy blue. Now I think that with the way sequins work and the way the light catches, it actually has a purple hue to it more so than a blue. And then there's also a Highland Heather. So you can kind of combine these and get the lights and darks and adhere these down. And see so there's some dark ones. And then we'll throw on some light ones. So 
a, it's a really simple card, but it really packs a punch in person. I really hope that um, you can see that. It's hard to portray it. Um, let me stick it to the base there. And there we go. There is my little hydrangea card. Now you can do something on the inside as well. I cut a piece of Whisper White. Just add a little something to your inside. And look how pretty that is once you've matted it on the Highland Heather. So there is my um, beautiful friendship card. I hope that you like it. This might be my swap card next month. And uh, we'll see. I hope that you'll look at this stamp set uh, and check it out when you're perusing the catalog. I'll have uh, this card up on my blog as well as links to this stamp set in the online store. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to help you. I love to be a demonstrator. If you don't already have one, I can be yours. You can shop with me 24-7 at my store. I always send a hand stamp thank you, and I have a frequent buyer rewards program as well. So check that out at my blog, bestpapercuts.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.